Yo, what is going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be talking about Variant 8 a little bit, uh, because this variant pretty unique in the fact that it's pretty difficult and restrictive, and the final boss, you're not even really using the tag champion that you're supposed to be using to do it, uh, which is pretty crazy. So Kabam has finally talked about it, I've been waiting for a forum post, I assumed that they were going to nerf the Venom Pool boss because... Um, it's it's extremely ridiculous if you have um the right team it's really not so bad it's actually pretty easy if you have the the right team which is cable apoc and uh and mr fantastic if you have those three champions on your team and you have like a six star rank two or rank three or a five star maxed out apoc um or even a four star honestly throw on some health boosts you can do it um but it's that's super tedious and you shouldn't be relying on characters outside of the variant tags to take down the final boss that's just that's so silly um so yeah he's definitely way too crazy as he is now just it's extremely restrictive i had a lot of fun with the fight personally um but it's just way too restrictive and i i know that and i kabam knows that too so uh, they finally talked about it so let's go take a look at the forum post so greeting summoners want to thank you all for the feedback on variant 8 so first there was a bug uh and that's with the deadpool x4 so the only bug i experienced in my 100 percent clear of variant 8 to my best knowledge that i like i know was a bug was the deadpool x force everything else seemed to work perfectly normal in my eyes um but deadpool x force is not supposed to be able to throw his special three and he was throwing his special three every time so uh uh, here's the fix. So fix the issue with Deadpool X Force was able to use special three when he was not intended to use special attack. This was caused by the interaction with the warning buff. So we've placed warning individually on local buffs to keep it active for the rest of the quest. So that makes sense. And pretty much like every quest, once you get past a certain point in the game, there's just a global. Uh, and it just says warning, special three active, and it's just a global in the quest for every champion. So that was messing with Deadpool X Force. Um, so it looks like they just, they took that out and just put it on the individual champions in the quest. Um, very interesting. That's why, that's what was causing the bug. That's, 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 that's very interesting, I think. Um, but kind of surprising that that slipped past them. Uh, but hey, it's fixed now. And we should hopefully get some, some nice compensation for it as well. Uh, which we'll talk about more in a little, in a little bit. And then the big change here with the Venom Pool boss. So removed energize and regeneration and added rise to power when the defender is knocked down a four second timer starts while active each time the defender lands a hit or strikes into the block they gain 15 percent of the bar of power so that's huge that's a huge change to this guy because smorgish board is really really annoying um and then the uh oh did it was it already changed oh looks like it was already changed <laughs> wow so it looks like the change is live already because yeah the regen's already gone okay that's that's actually pretty cool um i was gonna i was trying to bring this up to show what he had before but yeah so energize is gone which is great that was just giving him more combative power when you were hitting him so there's just more specials to bait um and then yeah the regen was really the, the real pain in the butt uh it was a one percent permanent regen that you know not a lot of mercenary count uh mercenary tag champions are really able to counter um so yeah those both of those nodes both of those nodes are gone now should make this boss a whole heck of a lot easier and pretty much you can should be able to fight him with pretty much any mercenary now um so yeah that's that's great um it takes away the restrictiveness of the fight so should should all be good now and the deadpool x force should be working now so yeah looking looking really good and so uh, these changes should be addressed in the back issues that players were reporting in relation to boss battles in back issues V8. Uh, we will continue to monitor our community spaces for feedback and we'll collect data on how players uh, were affected by the above issues next week and we'll look into compensation for these changes after we have done that. So there will be some sort of compensation. Uh, so these changes will be live at the end of the day, though this may change based on testing timelines and results. But looks like it's live, so we just looked at it it's live for me anyways uh once again thank you for your patience and feedback so yeah this variant was very in a very interesting release uh, to say the least um and yeah as far as compensation goes what do i want to see uh let first of all let me know what you guys want to see in the comment section down below i'd love to hear you guys thoughts on all this and specifically on the compensation personally i think um of course 
revives, potions, that sort of thing. Uh, maybe a couple of boosts, some energy refills, um, depending on like how much of the variant you did or how much. Yeah. Hopefully, like depending on how much you did, hopefully it's not just a generic package for everyone. Um, so yeah, uh, hope to see that at very least, bare minimum for that. Um, I really, this variant, I'd really love to see a rewards increase. Honestly, I feel like, bam, they say this is not end game content, so they're not going to be given out like tier three alpha and tier six basic. And they even made like a joking post saying, if you want that stuff, you know, go ask Karina for another set of challenges or something, kind of teasing the next set of challenges. But, um, I don't, I don't want tier six basic or tier three alpha from this. That's not what I'm asking for. I'm asking for a reward increase, a reasonable reward increase what is reasonable i don't know six star nexus crystal just a regular one like why why is kabam being so stingy on those kinds of resources there's there's no need to be so stingy on it man like <laughs> variant rewards need to keep evolving as time goes on yeah don't give us like super end game rewards but you gotta bring the rewards up to keep it interesting for us man at the very least and especially with how much bs we had to go through with this variant i think we definitely deserve at least like a six star nexus or something of the sort some six star shards ten thousand maybe like something to make up for the headache the, the many headaches that the variant 8 has caused that's kabam's fault it, it is totally kabam's fault like a lot of stuff like the deadpool thing that shouldn't have slipped past them that bug should not have been live like, did they not play test the fight? Like, how how does that make it live? I, I don't understand. That that should not be happening in the first place. There shouldn't even need to be a need for comfort, compensation. And the same with the Venipool boss. Like, I don't understand how that slipped past them either. Like, who were they using to solo that fight? W what mercenary were they using reliably, realistically, and consecutively to solo that fight? Because I soloed the fight six times with APOC uh cable and mr fantastic debuffs but that's not a mercenary that probably wasn't even in kabam's mind so how the heck were they getting through it and how did they expect us to get through it like what so just for the amount of headache that they caused the community i think the compensation really needs to reflect the headache and just give us like something nice and fun to make up for it and it'll kabam can easily win some brownie points and make it up to us just by giving us a good compensation package. Um, I hope they're not stingy with it because there's no need uh, for them to be, especially with Cyber Weekend coming around the corner. You don't want to have a mad or frustrated player base right before the, one of the biggest spending events of the year, you know? So hopefully they apologize with a nice compensation and it makes up for it. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it. Let me know what you guys think. I'm really interested to hear your thoughts. Again, if you have any ideas for conversation, I'd love to hear it. And yeah, just very interested in the comments on this one. That's going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up. Subscribe if you like some more content. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out.